In honor of the Olympics, our anchors and reporters are each trying out a new sport. And one sport many play in their free time, but only a few can actually master it. NBC 15 Sally Mamdu trades in her heels and reporter notepad for some tennis shoes and a racket. It's a sport known to be one of the most beneficial physical and mental sports someone can be involved in. And then just swing it through. And while playing tennis might seem easy, Where'd that go? looks could be <laughs> deceiving. Just ask me. Do I need to run to the ball? For a day, I dressed the part and tried to play the part. <laughs> okay, let's uh, teach me. Learning the basics from Olga Himloff, a college tennis player who has been hitting the ball since she was seven. The most important shot is a serve. And make sure that foot's pointing to that pole. So up and psh, except when you go up and you're eventually here, and then when you go forward, you're going to turn your hip body and go this way. Up, yep, and swing. Ugh. There you go. See, There's... you made contact. Most people <laughs> don't on their first ball. And the beauty of serving is the fact that you can take as much time as you want. That's far. And I certainly did take advantage of that quality. Uh oh, that was not high. Oh, that was far. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Woo! We then moved to overhand hits, which I seem to be decent at. That's a winner, too. And then the backhand. That was a little late, so you want to always hit it out in front of you. And finally, the forehand. That ground strokes are what you hit from the baseline over here. And that, it's called a handshake grip. So how you shake somebody's hand. And after a few minutes of playing singles, it looks like I've already got the hang of it. Get some! Never played tennis in my life. Your, your back end's your strength, and the fact that you pay attention to detail, so that's huge. So do you see me playing this professionally one day? <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not ready yet. Whatever, all guys. But I was confident enough to take what I've learned here and go play a legend. Are you it, the most eligible bachelor in Madison? That, that was on the Madison Magazine cover. You didn't wow. see that? No, I Tuxedo didn't. and all. And ladies, he's got lots of game when it comes to tennis. Oh Invited to play at the U.S. Open at 18, nope. Paulus has since won hundreds of U.S. titles. And today, he's ranked number one in the world in his age category. What makes a perfect tennis player? Perfect tennis player, overall game. What makes the game of tennis unique than any other sport out there? Court dimensions are the same all over the world. Don't get nervous over there now. Paulus agreed to play me at his tennis center in Madison. Oh God, that's four in a row. This is not beginner's luck. It's just just Paula's oh, going easy on me. When are you going to get that one? <laughs> that was a good game. After all, for me to beat a legend, I have to hit the court a little more than once. <sighs> one serve <sighs> at a time. Perfect. Ace. And longtime Madison residents, you might have recognized John Paulus. He's the former head coach of the Badger basketball team. Stay with us. Rob is in next with sports.